I just gave away a MacBook Air iPhone. Did my golden ticket giveaway. I don't know if you're watching my IG story, but I post a golden ticket. Whoever sees it first and acts gets it. So and you get a choice. And I'll do some other stuff, cash too. Let's talk here about this million person challenge that I have. More important than me giving away stuff, like the saying goes, give someone a fish, feed them for a day, teach them to fish, feed them for a lifetime. So I can give you money, I can give you stuff, or I can give you a way, a system that you can start making money on your own. That's my goal. Multiple streams of income, three, three. The average millionaire has three, the average broke person has zero, maybe one. And you can't just count like two jobs if they're the same kind of job, like that doesn't. Three diverse streams of income. So I'm gonna take a million people, this is my life goal right now. I think it'll take me three years. Take a million people and show them how to make money online. In fact, my goal is you can make a thousand bucks in the next 60 days online. Some of you make 2,500 bucks. Some of you will make a hundred. But if you listen to what I say, you listen to what I say, this goes from fantasy to possibility, to reality. Everything in life starts out as a dream. Most people, it stays in a dream. Some people get it, a little momentum starts to become a little reality. And then some people get the full fulfillment of it. And so I started this and I'm gonna extend this. Last week I had this cash flow system open and um, like a thousand people got in. That was my goal, let a thousand people in. I wanna show you something. Right away, people are making money. It's a very simple system, by the way. It's not a Ponzi scheme. It's not some weird stock trading thing. It's not like you buy this and this and this and then people 33 levels under you get money. And that. No, it's simple. I spend, well, I have like this month, I got three to $500,000 to spend to give out either to you or to Instagram to do advertising, Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg. I can make them rich. I've paid them tens of millions of dollars. Or I can just unleash an army of my followers, show you how to make money, and I'll give you what I would have spent on Google, YouTube, and Facebook ads. Simple. I got like, I got $20,000 right today to give away if I could replace what I'm spending online marketing. So you might say, but how will I do that? Well, let me just show you this. I just took pictures, because I don't want to bring my laptop over here, of people making money that I'm writing checks today. I might pay people every day. Right now we're paying people every Thursday. Let me see if you, I don't know if you'll be able to zoom in on this, but here's somebody, Juan, Jose Maria Barreto Juara, 100 bucks. Govinda Sean, 100 bucks. Ali Alton Neji, 100 bucks. This Govin guy has like 500 bucks I owe him. Oh, there's more for Ali, another 100 bucks. Here's Dennis Weinstein, $68. Elizabeth Marasco, I owe $49.25 today. Luis Perez, $100. Frank Piner, $49.25. Dante Curd, $36.75. And you know what they were selling? I've got a food business, healthy, organic food. And they were selling boxes of food, but they didn't go door to door. I showed them how to set it up, set up an automated system to do it. So. Who here wants to be part of this million person challenge? There's seven billion people, seven and a half billion. This is a realistic goal for me. It's a realistic goal. I'm gonna help a million people do it. And I'm gonna tell you, those of you who get in early, those of you who get in early, it's gonna be easier because markets get saturated. So I'm opening this up for another seven days till Sunday. You got Sunday to Sunday, jump in. The water's warm. I'm showing you people literally making money. Like today, I need to write a check for 5,000, uh, about, people made about $5,000. So right now, like I said, I spend between ten dollars and $50,000 a day on marketing my different companies, different ones, Mentor Box, Farmer's Box, um, my Ty Lopez website. We have an agency called Profit Index. We have an investment company that does real estate deals, all this stuff. So I'm spending ten dollars to $50,000. So if I can replace it by just giving it to my followers, like I said, I'm writing 5,000. I already replaced, instead of sending $5,000 to Mark Zuckerberg, 
Google and all that. So this is already working. Those of you who are skeptical, you saw me last week. I was like, I'm going to need to extend this thing. That first test group that got in, they're making money. Now, is everybody making money? No, because m some people are lazy and never even open the program up. You have to work the system. I'll give you a system that's a 10-step cut and paste system. So yeah, I'm going to put a link, by the way. I'm going to talk on other stuff. I'm going to show you how, if you don't want to go into my cash flow system, I'll show you how you can try this on your own. It's easier if you partner with me, but you can do it on your own, okay? It's a heck of a lot easier and more likely to happen if you do it with me because I have established businesses that I'm already spending money on. That's the key. So I've shown people, millions of people, how to go out and start their own business, different businesses, e-com agency, SMMA agency, how to sell on Amazon, how to do e-commerce and drop shipping. Um, I show people how to do real estate, all that stuff that I do. I've replicated it, but I realize this is such a better system. What's the URL? So I'll put the link, will be in the Instagram or Twitter. I'll put it up here. It's Ty Lopez. This is a program you partner with me. It's just partner live. Okay, if you wanna jump in. Now, let's do some free training. Everybody loves free stuff. Let's do some free training. Addy Man says, Ty, do you have any advice for laziness, Ty? Yeah, you got to have people you look up to that aren't lazy, that basically shame you into not being lazy. Like, the only way you get unlazy is most of it is by changing your social circle and then being like, ooh, I don't want to be, I don't want to look bad to other people. So you got to use social pressure in a positive way. Eddie said, Ty, I joined your 67 Steps program in 2015, and I've been selling stuff online. Man, I get so many testimonials. I, just I was just at my gym, and I told people, every time a smart person who's actually qualified, because you can be smart and unqualified, right? I'm unqualified to give you advice. If you have a heart attack and you need heart surgery, don't come to me. I might be smart, but I'm not qualified. But every time a smart and qualified person gives you advice and you ignore it, I promise you, one day, it might be tomorrow, it might be 10 years from now, you'll realize you wasted a decade of your life. Really, I look back on my life, everything I hate about my life, somebody told me like five or 10 years ago to do something and they were smart and qualified. I didn't listen to them and I'm like, wait a second. Like I wasted years of my life. So if you wanna keep wasting years of your life, ignore everything I'm saying. Most people will. That's why my goal is only a million, it's kind of a sad goal actually. I was thinking, oh, it's such a lofty goal. I want to help a million people make money online. And then I realized there's seven and a half billion people. That's one, se I'm not even going after one seven thousandth. One out of seven thousand people in the world. I'm trying to show how to make their first hundred, their first thousand, their first ten thousand dollars online. A month. The goal is monthly, right? So, but that's the world we live in. Most people that just <laughs> most people right now are like watching Netflix and eating eating you know Cheetos, but whatever. Okay, how do you start e-commerce? You're a legend, Ty. I don't know about being a legend. Who's a legend? I feel like you're not a legend until you've been dead for like 500 years. Ty, what do you think about SEO? Yes, SEO is good as long as it's part of a system. So that's part of what I'll teach you too is how to use SEO to start to generate sales. So, okay, making money on a million people. You're one of these people. You're one person. Unless you have like schizophrenia, then you're two people in one body. What's that one? I remember reading Garfield. He's like, I'm schizophrenic and so am I. If you get that joke. Uh, so one person, right? You have two choices. Three, actually. You get a job. You start your own business, okay? Or you do an affiliate partner, partner with an existing business. Which one's the best? Option one, two, three. Man, when I started out, I did that for my first two businesses. Did that, so take it from me. 
I'm qualified to talk on the subject of making money online. I was one of the first people to go online, 2002. All these people are like, oh, I've been teaching online stuff. I'm like, I was on there in 2002, Google AdWords. I started young. I started as an entrepreneur as a teenager. So, like, I'm definitely qualified, and I've done, let's say, I've done over 100 million bucks online. So I can, I'm qualified to show you how to make $100, okay? If you're wondering about my qualifications, if I can do 100 million for myself, I could teach you to do 100, right? Or 1,000, or 10,000, or 100,000. A few of you, not many, but a few of you figure out how to make 100,000 a month. I, got, I have people right now, students of mine, doing over 100,000 a month. One of them has 92 doctors, uh, chiropractors, as clients, each chiropractor pays them $2,000 a month, it's $180,000 a month, and half of its profit, netting $100,000 a month. Okay? So, get a job, start your own business, affiliate partner with existing. This is the one I haven't talked about in years. I don't know why. This all systems point here. This is why. To start your average business, realistically, if you want to start, on average, if you ask my opinion, you can start any business with zero money. I started with zero money. It's possible, but it's hard. And so most people fail at it. But if you could get $30,000, you can start lots of businesses with $30,000 if you know how to use it. So if you have $30,000, I have lots of ways you can make money. You don't have to have $30,000, but this gives you a pretty good chance. You can open a mobile car wash business. You can open a pet dog walking. You can open a social media marketing agency. You could sell on Amazon and buy $15,000 worth of inventory and then have $15,000 left to spend on marketing. You could launch a personal social media brand with 30 grand. Again, you can launch with zero, but 30 grand is kind of like what most people need because it's expensive to start a business. You gotta form your LLC. You gotta build a website. You need to usually have a salesperson. You need to hire a lawyer, ideally, to build the LLC. You can use templates like LegalZoom and stuff, but it's better if you have some professional help one-on-one. You need accounting. If you're doing physical products, you need an inventory. I was just looking at Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova's killing the game. I don't know how much that company's worth, but I, I project that guy's a billionaire. You know how much money you need to compete with Fashion Nova? Because I posted yesterday on my social media like, oh, how to do fashion, right? Because um, we, we're launching a female fashion online store. Compete with Fashion Nova, you need 30 million. Really. Now, a few people out there in the world are going to figure out how to compete with Fashion Nova with zero dollars. There's going to always be the rags to riches story, but there's all going to be 100,000 people who fail, and want, you might as well play the lottery. 30 million, you could compete with Fashion Nova. They got 10,000 items. You could buy 10,000 items, five of them, so that you have enough SKUs on your website on day one. Okay, so a lot of things are hard to start from scratch, especially inventory. Like we, I own a supplement company and we had to put up 30,000 to buy the initial inventory. The, the factory didn't wanna produce. We did a custom blend. It's a hemp protein shake called Lean 67. And uh, yeah, we could have done it for less with somebody else's white label formula, but then it's like cheesy. We're just, I wanted to sell something quality. It cost 30, it's probably more than 30. At least 30 was the minimum order. So the problem with starting your own is when you don't have much money, it's harder. And the odds go way down. They go from like one in two chance of success to like one in 20. And those numbers, by the way, I'm not even being a pessimist. If you read the book, The E-Myth Revisited, nine out of 10 people fail starting their own business. It's too hard. Now that book recommends you do a franchise because franchises don't fail as much because it's a system. You can buy a McDonald's franchise right now. They give you the system. Here's the Big Macs. They give you the sign. They give you everything, the logo that you're, you're backed up. You, your employees get the little hats. You own the McDonald's in that location but it's $1.2 million to buy a McDonald's franchise. So the cost, franchises work. For those of you who can afford a franchise, buy a Subway, buy a, they have Merry Maids or one of these. 
franchises work, but they don't work if you don't have much money. Subway's 250 grand, plus you gotta get a store and you have to hire people. I mean, it's like 500 grand, realistically, to start a restaurant business. And that's the smaller ones. Taco Bell, McDonald's, that stuff's like in the millions. So once again, I'm not gonna be able to show a million people how to do a franchise. I'm not gonna be able to show a million people. A million people don't have $30,000, at least not the million people that I'm reaching. There are a million people with 30 grand, but most of those people are, honestly, most people who have money saved are over 60 years old and retired. That's the hard, cold statistics. You go around the world, 99%, 99% of people who have like 100 grand or more saved are older. You will, I mean, you can go to a thousand people under 40 that doesn't, don't have $30,000 sitting around. Like you can go one by one and not find one and talk to a thousand people. Depends on what neighborhood you're in, but I'm saying the average neighborhood in the world. So I'm not gonna hit my million person challenge. I'm not gonna help you if I don't have a better system. A franchise is great, but it's still a pain in the butt. Um, oh, here's IG. What's a Wingstop or Popper John's is the best franchise. Yeah, but you, you're gonna have to spend, what do you work with Shaq? Shaq's now at Papa John's, did you see that? You're gonna have to have a lot of money um, to get a Papa John's. So, any advice for teenagers to start making money? Enoch G5 is asking. Do we have a weird fish eye lens on that Instagram? Phone? This thing looks crazy. Point it up a little bit, maybe lower it a little bit. So, starting your own business, 90% failure rate. Franchise has like 90% success rate, okay? But franchises are expensive. You need more than 30,000 for most franchises. There are franchises that are like five grand, but they're usually not very good ones. Yeah, that's better angle, remember that angle. Okay, so. Blah, blah, blah. That leaves us. Get a job, nine to five. Okay, that gives you one source of income. That's what most people do. Most people hate their job. Most people don't make enough money. Number two, start your own. You can do it with zero money. I've got systems. Social media marketing people are starting out with zero, but I've seen it. It's harder. Real estate investing, definitely. I mean, my first student in real estate investing, when we launched our program in 2016, training people, he had no money and he made 25 grand his first month. But not everybody did that. So like some people succeed that way, but a lot of people don't. But if you have 50 grand sitting around, it's a lot easier. You can buy a fixer, fixer upper house in Missouri for cheap, especially if you can get bank money for some of it. You used to be able to buy property to flip in Vegas for like 10 G's. Really, there was 10 grand houses for sales. So um, the third option is this thing that nobody teaches you in school which is just to partner with somebody who has a business that I recommend doing one to 10 million a year because then they have a big enough budget that they can split, split the money with you and not working for them as like an employee, but you can work as a 1099 contractor with them, okay? Um, so partnering with existing businesses so what I'm gonna teach you, now why would a business partner with you? Easy, because you know how to do online stuff and they don't, right? That's how my social media marketing program worked. But the difference in my social media marketing program, I taught people how to just like get 1,000 bucks a month or $5,000 a month or a contract. What I'm talking about now is better. I'm gonna train you how to be a partner and you can start out by being a partner with me but not exclusive to me. You can do this for anybody. You can walk in their door and say, listen, I'm an online expert, marketing expert. I was trained in a program that Ty Lopez created, okay? Um, somebody who's done over $100 million online, one of the first people online, 2002 to now, 17 years. And I'll come in here and I'll help you market your stuff online for a split of the profit. That's how you make big money. You split the profit. I see people, influencers, they get paid 500 bucks to post, but they don't get the profit. 
You want a split of the profits. So split, this is the new thing that I'm teaching you. I'm gonna give you a system. I call it the cash flow system. How to get multiple streams of cash flow. I'm gonna train you over the next four months with every ninja trick that I know, even ones I've never talked about before and I don't talk about publicly and I'm not gonna talk about here because why would I share with secrets with everybody, especially people who aren't my partners. Now, if you're an affiliate partner with me, now it's in my best interest to share every tool trick of the trade that I know because you're gonna use it to help me make money and we split the profits. Split the profits. That's how you get rich. Just imagine this. What if Mark Zuckerberg on Instagram or Facebook shared the profits? You know that you're working for Mark Zuckerberg. You wanna know who most people in the world work for? They work for Google, they work for big corporations. They work for Uber, they work for Google, because every time they do a search, Google shows ads. Every time you click an ad on accident, they sneak it in there. Google takes money. So you're taking your time. Do they, have you ever gotten a check from Google? <coughs> nope. Why do you think Sergey Brin and Larry Page, you know how wealthy they are? I know a guy who's a billionaire, an old man, okay? These two guys are young, and he said he owns his own island. And he says he has a problem. Larry Page and Sergey Brin bought an island in, in front of his and like blocked his view. That's how rich these guys are off you. Are you watching YouTube? Have you ever made much money off YouTube? Yeah, they have a little partnership program, but only for people who have a lot of views. Logan Paul, I know, he makes a lot of money. He made seven or $17 million. But do you get two million views? No, they don't let the little guy, the little woman make money. So you work for Instagram, they're showing your ads, you making them rich all day long. They don't split a penny with you. So I'm building a system. In fact, I'm the only person that I know online. And I know you got, there, look, there's a lot of good people you guys follow and you get advice from. Have they ever mailed you a check? That's all I gotta tell you. It's the only question I have for you. Have you ever mailed you a check? Because if you wanna know who's really in your corner, it's people mailing you a check. I'm not talking about a giveaway either, a check you earned. So yeah, that's what I've created. And basically you can partner. What, the way I want to do it, I use the philosophy I follow for myself. I wanna give you three streams of income. You can keep your day job. Don't quit your day job yet. Ease into things. I'm gonna give you three streams of cash flow three streams of income, okay? One is with a digital product. You can make money, split the profit with me. Number two, with a service. Number three, with a physical product. I have all three, and I've got a partnership now set up. And guess what? Those are the only three things in the world you can make money from anyway. And I'm gonna show you how to have all three. Now some of you are just gonna make 10 bucks a month. I mean, some people will make zero, just to be clear. This isn't, I'm not gonna over promise, but those are the people who don't listen to what I'm saying, okay? Some of you are gonna make 10 bucks, some of you are gonna make 100 bucks in a month, some of you are gonna make 1,000, some of you are gonna make 10,000. Who cares at this stage? When I first started online, I had no money and I made like my first 500 bucks and that, it gave me faith. Now I make $500 sometimes in 10 seconds. I've made a million bucks in an hour before since then, but it all started with that little seed of making my first, you know, I don't even remember what the dollar amount was, but it was small. It was not even a thousand bucks. It might not have been a hundred, but I think it was a little over a hundred dollars. And it gave me faith and all of a sudden I was like, wait a second, I can work from anywhere do whatever I want, work from my laptop, work from my iPhone. If I wanna go on a vacation, I just work. You guys watch me on social media all over the world. People are like, where do you live? I can't figure it out. I'm like, yeah, I like it like that. I was just in Toronto. I, was, I got a place in Miami. I was on my horse farm in Virginia. I'm here in Manhattan right now. I was just in LA and I was in London right before there. I went to Omaha, Nebraska. All the while, I was making money because I don't have a nine to five job. So I highly recommend for those of you 
who are sick of your current situation, try something new. This isn't for everybody in here. But like I said, you got to have seven days if you want to get in. I extended it. I did it for seven days. And then I just, I get an overwhelming response of people begging me to keep this thing open a little bit longer. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, it gets me closer to my million person goals. Vacu Vacpuna8 said, I'm so sick of my current situation. You know, a lot of you, I was thinking about this right before I came live. And I said, why do you think, like I was just, I was eating over there. This is my kitchen here in dining room. And I go, why are more, most people just making enough and not trying something new? And I go, because they're satisfied. When you just make, the worst thing that can ever happen to you, it's like a relationship where you're dating. You don't really love the person, but you like them. So you tolerate an average relationship. Most people, the worst thing that ever happened to you is a decent job. Not an amazing job, a decent job, because you don't want to quit a decent job. You don't love it, but you don't hate it, so you stick with it. And guess what? That's why Thoreau said the mass of men lead, lead lives of quiet desperation, because they're just making enough. So a lot of people who follow me are people who don't have enough. You know, and that's fine. I'm good with that. I'm good with helping the poor, with helping the lower class. I grew up lower. I mean, I grew up in a mobile home. I didn't grow up upper class. So I'm comfortable with that group of people. There's, I know there's influencers out there and they're catering to the people they grew up around, which is rich people, which is great. They're showing people how to, you know, business owners that are already making 10 million, how to make 100 million. That's great. That's not my thing. I mean, I do that on occasion. But most of the people who follow me are just like I was when I was starting. So I build stuff that would have helped me if I was watching this when I got started. So, Ty, what do you think about Bitcoin, crypto at this stage? I've told people I've never sold any Bitcoin I've ever bought. And I told people I built a crypto course, a Bitcoin course. People thought it was me teaching. So they're like, why are you qualified to teach? And it was just me interviewing really smart people. And... I told people, the smartest people said, buy Bit Bitcoin was safer. A lot of coins have disappeared and Bitcoin's on the rise again. But don't put all your, I told people, don't put all that money in Bitcoin because if you put too much into it, it's volatile. When it bounces up and down, you'll freak out and sell it. And then you buy high, sell low. That's what most people did. So, okay. Uh, what are you going to learn? Let me show you how this system works. So I'm going to give you three products that you can instantly partner. These are multi-million dollar businesses that you instantly, you're partnered with. So you can, I'm gonna even give, start giving people the ability to, for business cards. You can even have business cards, they have to say, they say affiliate partner on it, or independent affiliate uh, partner. But you can have a business card with my logos on it of my companies. Okay, and then, so um, that'll help you for some of you. I mean, you don't have to have business cards. But the way it works is real simple. I'm about to run out of paper here too. Um, I want to show you, I have a 10 step formula, okay? I'm not going to do all 10 here, but over the next four months, I'm gonna, but I'm going to show you these 10 steps. The first step, okay, I want to show you, you have to first know yourself and decide if you're an introvert or extrovert. Again, one of the most important things, they never even have one class in school where they divide people up by introverts and extroverts. Introverts should do different things in life than extroverts, really. It's kind of common sense, but nobody follows it. If you're super introverted, should you be like a public speaker? Probably not. You could learn public speaking for the occasion you have to do it, but why torture yourself? Your introverts do better as writers, as architects, as people behind the scenes. Bill Gates was an introvert. Steve Jobs was an introvert. Uh, Jeff Bezos is an introvert. Richest people in the world are introverts. Extroverts like Warren Buffett, you learn how to be the face of a business. So first thing we do is help you know yourself. Then my 10-step formula depends if you're an introvert or an extrovert. Some people are in between. It's called ambivert. You might be 50-50. Usually, you're slightly more than one than the other. The official Meyer Briggs Institution, which has the whole INFJ, ENTP, all that stuff, they say that usually 
they like you to take a stand as usually introvert or extrovert. It's controversial, but let's just pretend. We figure that out. The second step, we create a path. We create a, a personalized system for you, okay? And it based around one thing, authority. You have to slowly but surely become an authority in something, anything that interests you in life. It could be cars. It could be, I have a guy making hundreds of thousands of dollars who follows me. Well, actually, no, they made $12 million follow me. They're actually in my, mo they're in my highest level consulting program. They made $12 million last year. They're super into cars. They figured out how to do car giveaways, and then they sell clothing, merch. They did $12 million. They netted like $3 bucks. They're under 35 years old. So anything you're an authority, let's say you're interested in cooking, if you like travel, if you like cameras, if you like electronics, if you um, like self-improvement or books, we show you how to establish yourself as an authority, how to build a following of 100 people on an email list. So I'm going to teach you email marketing. Nobody talks about email marketing. You know how much money I make with email marketing? Tens of millions of dollars. And remember, email marketing is, once you have the email list, it's all profit. I could shut down everything I do, go on vacation, and with my email list, I could generate tens of millions of dollars with no money on marketing, none. Once the list is built, yes, you lose some people who unsubscribe, but not that many. If you're doing it right, your unsubscribe rate is crazy low. So email marketing still works. I'm going to show you email marketing, and then I'm going to show you how to start using social media for yourself to establish your authority. If you're an introvert, I'm gonna show you how to do it without ever going in front of a camera. All behind the scenes, no one ever has to see your face. You can be like Marshmallow, the DJ, you wear like a helmet. You can be like a ghost writer who writes books and people they, they use a different name. So I'm gonna teach you this. So that's the first five steps, then six, I'm gonna show you this formula called the TTT formula, okay? So teach, tailor, take control, which brings you to number seven. I'm gonna, you need products. You can't make money, even if you do all this, if you don't have the correct products to monetize it, then the teach, tailor, take control system doesn't work. And it's important that you have teach, tailor, take control. And it's important that, that you then have a product because when you take control, you got to drive people into products that you believe in. Okay? Um, let's see. Let me read the names of people who are already getting in the program. I like to just read off the names of people. Oh, here's cool. Look at this. I'm going to show you something cool. Here's an affiliate making money right now who's in the system. I'll show you, I, have, I get a little thing here. I get, that sale came from an affiliate. It's just a $7 sale, but still the affiliate get paid. This one, $29.99, that affiliate, Drew Highfield, I don't even know who that is. Drew Highfield just sold one of my physical products. We have um, grass fed, all natural, non-GMO beef sticks, like beef jerky. People eating beef jerky, it's a huge trend, crave beef jerky just sold for $300 million. Whoop, I'm hyper zoomed in there. Um, yeah, <laughs> we were like right up my nose. So that guy, I'm, I should write, I would write him a check right now if I wasn't on here, 29 bucks. So we split the profit. I split the profit. It usually, the commission uh, split is different because I have costs on the beef jerky, but he's roughly, we're splitting the profit 50-50. Comes right around there or 40-60. Um, so, like I said, Druva Highfield, making money online right now at 11.41 p.m. New York time. So, then, by the way, I got something even better. Once you get somebody to buy one of my products, I track it forever. Anything else they buy, I split with you. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. As long as you're an active affiliate in good standing, if they buy something eight months from now and you didn't do any work, 
because we do email marketing. I have a phone sales team. We're calling all the customers and upgrading them to bigger packages. So that guy who bought $29 beef jerky, we're calling him and say, hey, we've got an all natural chicken and beef frozen box we mailed to your door, 497 bucks. If, if they buy that, I'm that person who sent that first little teeny sale, that affiliate partner of mine, I'm splitting the profit on that too. It's awesome. It, it's, dude, if I could, I would have crushed this when I was starting out. <laughs> if I could have found myself with this program, I would have crushed this. Um, so, yeah. Someone said, sounds like a pyramid scheme. Anybody who thinks this is a pyramid scheme needs to go to Wikipedia and Google what a pyramid scheme is. A pyramid scheme is easy. It would be you buy something with the only goal of selling it to someone else whose goal is to sell it. That's what a pyramid scheme and you get people under you. This guy sold somebody beef jerky to eat. That's, you know what that's called? An affiliate program, and you know who invented affiliate programs as we know it? Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world. Amazon is an affiliate program. He doesn't own most of those stores on his, there's 100 million stores owned uh, pages. Each page is a store, right? I don't know if it's 100 million, but whatever. There's tens of millions of stores that Jeff Bezos doesn't own, but he splits the profit with them. So if this is, if this is a pyramid scheme, then so is the second largest company in history, Amazon. It's not. Affiliate is different. So you got to know how to use your brain. This is different. Um, oops. Da, da, da. Introvert, extrovert. People always ask a lot of questions about this. How do you feel? Ty, I joined the program on the 14th. Awesome. By the way, once you're in the program, we have 24 hour support. If you send, sometimes email support goes into spam. You can go on my site right now and do live chat. We live chat. I've got people uh, in different time zones around the world in the United States, in Asia, uh, in Europe answering. So no matter what time zone you're in, if you get in this program, we support you. I'm serious. If I can do this goal, if I can get a million people to make money online, this is a, Nobody's done that. Even the big universities haven't done that. Name a university in the world that's helped a million people make money online. Even Harvard hasn't done that. Okay? And Harvard's a... <laughs> you know how big the Harvard endowment is? These are multi-billion dollar companies. And people are having to spend a hundred grand, or as you can see now, there's a huge scandal, because basically rich people are just paying to get their own kids into Harvard. So if your parents aren't rich, the system is stacked against you, my friend. Sorry to break. That's why I said you got to go outside the system. The, system, the second the system is uh, stacked against you, I recommend just go and play a different game, man. You'll never win a game uh, that's where you're not able to win the game. I know that sounds like common sense, but like, for example, Harvard. There's, look right now, there is a court case where a guy paid $250,000 to get his kid into Harvard. It was either Harvard or Yale or one of these schools, and now he's going to jail. And that's like rinse and repeat happening. If they caught that guy, think about this. If they caught one person, if you catch one bank robber, how many bank robbers do you not catch? 99 probably. So they're catching people left and right. The system has been rigged against people. So people go, oh, Ty, your programs are like 500 bucks or a thousand bucks. That's so much. I'm like, that's not a lot. Have you priced the entry point of any school in the United States? Community college is more than a thousand bucks a year. So people go, well, Ty, I don't know if I can get the money. I'm like, well, Kellyanne said, Ty, I've already made $1,500 in commissions. Sweet. Uh, Okay, comments, questions. I'm gonna put this link, you see the link below, jump in there. We've got right here, where was the link? Damn, it's all the way on the first one. How many did I write? 
I guess I've been writing more than I thought. It's on all the way here. Tylopez.com slash partner life. And by the way, for those of you who already got in cash flow, this week I'm rolling out some new features. Remember, you guys who got in last week were like the beta program. I got some stuff that I'm going to switch up that's going to help you make even more money. I got some new products I'm going to throw in, and uh, I've got some new price points so that it'll be easier to get sales in. Okay. Is dropshipping oversaturated at this point? I'll just tell you this. There's always room for people who are good, but you should have gotten drop shipping. I had a drop shipping program in 2016. When you got in 2016, like Samir and Juan, two guys that followed me, they start, came to a conference in 2015, followed me online. 2016, they got in drop shipping program and they were making, I think at their best month, they made $280,000 gross at like 20, 30% margins. So they made like 40 to $60,000 and they were 22 years old. Now, Harder, harder, harder. So that's why I'm always rolling out new things because nothing works forever. That's just the cold truth of making money is that you have to be adaptable and do new things because things stop working. Ty, what should I do to earn more money while in college? Right here. I got ten dollars to $50,000 a day to write checks that I can be writing all day. I'll turn off, turn down my Facebook spend my Instagram marketing, my YouTube marketing. Look, I'm one of the biggest uh, online spenders in history. Me and my business partner, Alex, we're like number two in the world of Facebook e-com spenders. Um, so we, I spend money. I'd rather give it to you. It's the simplest program ever. SMMA or partnership? <sighs> e I don't know. This partnership one is I'm more focused and excited on this than anything I've ever done. And like I said, I go in and I see people making money right away and I'm like, I like this better. But I do like SMMA too. What about yard sales? So there's people out there trying to make money with yard sales. Okay, here's my thought on that. Cause I, or like, do you really think that's a great idea? That that's a sustainable way that you're learning skills. Yes, you're learning sales skills, but are you learning a core set of skills driving from yard sale to yard, besides sales, because there's other ways to learn sales. Why wouldn't you want to learn how to sell online? The whole world is going to be online soon. Did you see Topshop is now going broke, bankrupt. Every store in the world is going broke because everybody's switching to online and they're still selling offline. So do you really want to build that skill that you're like kind of like Sears? You go around and you buy coffee mugs and you resell them. Maybe if you're 12 years old, that's a great business because like you're too young, your parents won't let you go online or something. Great. When I was six years old, I sold cherry tomatoes uh, in the front of my house, but I wouldn't recommend that for you. You want to do that? I charge 25 cents a bag. You can make a whopping $3 a day. And I see these testimonials from people. They're like, oh, I made $8 a day spending eight hours at a yard sale buying a chair and reselling it for $8 more. I said, did you count your gas in time, bro? You could have had a minimum wage job at Taco Bell and made 100 bucks or 80 bucks. You spent all day making $8, driving around in your car, spending $15. So that, I've seen people talking about this plan. I was going... Does anybody have common sense? If you guys learn the skills, I'm going to teach you. You're going to be so far ahead of the game, you'll be running the next Top Shop brand. You'll be running the next. Victoria's Secret's going broke, too. They're right across the street from me. But one of you will have the next Victoria's Secret billion-dollar company. Some of my students started a company. They got in one of my first programs in 2014, 2015. They started a watch company called Movement. They're like 26 and they just sold it for $150 million. Google it. Movement watches. Either, either 130 or 150 million. I bet you they, even though they raised capital, they probably made 50 million bucks each. That's from real skills. Should I have taught them to sell at yard sales? I could. You think that would have been better for them? Hey guys, learn how to sell on yard sales. <laughs> Do you think that would have made 50 million bucks? Use your brains. Not everybody makes 50 million dollars, but give yourself a chance. Learn a skill that's going to be in demand for the next 20 years. Everybody's sending their kids to college to get an English degree. Well, you already speak English, and it's not that much in demand. What are you going to do with an English degree? 
What requires an English degree? Don't say a writer. Hemingway didn't have an English degree, and neither did William Shakespeare. And nobody writes better than those two. Not one kid who graduated with an English degree writes better than Shakespeare. Did he have a little bachelor degree? <laughs> they spent 80 grand. In, no. So what tangible skills are you learning at college? A doctor? That's a good one. You become a, my cousin is becoming a doctor. I don't discourage him. The world needs medical doctors. It's good to go to a university. He went to Einstein, Albert Einstein here in New York. Now he's at UCLA. Great. I think that's great. Um, lawyer. Yep, you have to legally, you must go through university. But you're learning a real tangible skill. What's the skill everyone else is learning in school? Most people don't go to college for doctor and lawyer and engineer. I mean, they, they go up for art history. Art history? You know the best way to learn art history? Move to France. Go to the Louvre every day. Really. Get a job in Paris, any job, or get a job online, do an affiliate partnership, go live in Paris. Mark my words, you come back in one year to your art history class where kids are spending 40 grand to be an art history degree, you will know more. Just walk around the Louvre, the biggest art museum in Paris. Walk around it once a week. You'll know more about art than almost anybody in the world. So, yes, for those of you who want to be doctors, lawyers, accountants, uh, engineers, College, great choice for you. If you want to be in deep research, like my friends are neuroscientists, go to college. It's all set up for that. If you want to learn about making money, if you want to learn how to create your own income streams, it's not for you, man. It isn't. And people try to argue and they bring up statistics. Those statistics are so skewed because they're skewed to wealthier people. So they go, oh, people who go to Harvard do better than people who don't. Yeah, no shit, because kids who go to Harvard is like Bill Gates' dad. His was a millionaire. So he bought his dad a computer at age 12 when nobody else could have a computer versus a kid in Harlem whose parents are living, you know, day to day. Yeah, no wonder the kid, Bill Gates, became richer. The rich get richer because they get advantages and opportunities. But if you do neck and neck, by the way, it's not even a good analogy because Bill Gates dropped out of school. So... I, my own analogy self-destructs on accident. Yes, it's correlation, not causation. Um, relationship with Mark Cuban, love your opposition. I mean, different people, some people swear by college, some smart people, Mark Cuban likes, but if you ask Mark, I've asked, I know Mark Cuban. He made it, he learned to make money by selling door-to-door -door trash cans or bags when he was a teenager. So college helped him. He says it helped him. Great. Didn't help Mark Zuckerberg. Except for one thing. College is a great place to network. That's the main reason to go to college. If I have kids who want to go to Harvard, I'll just be like, just go to Harvard and just get an F or get a D. No one cares. You just get a Harvard degree. It's going to help you get jobs. And then you just, I'd be like, network. Become the party. I'm going to teach. If I have a son or a daughter, I'm going to be like, be the party promoter at Harvard. Make friends with every kid at Harvard because they're going to go on because they got rich dads and rich opportunities. Be their friend. And that's what Steve Ballmer did. I know Steve Ballmer. He just, he was friends with Bill Gates and Paul Allen, who dropped out. He stayed in and then he became worth $40 million. So, uh, yeah. Someone said, don't even compare yourself with Mark Cuban. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't compare myself. Mark Cuban's a success. He's also way older than me. Sometimes people go, Ty, well, you ain't as successful as so-and-so. Well, give it a second. They're two decades ahead of me. Got to use your brain, man. Best way to get a business? Loan. Well, I don't know about that. That's not the best way to get a business. You don't want to start business with a loan, unless it's a teeny one or something. Uh, Ty, I don't know if you spoke about Airbnb as a good way of making money. Yeah, I have an Airbnb training program. But it's not the best one. The best one is the one I have now. That's why I launched it. What's wrong with Twitter? Twitter always freezes. All right, what do I want to say before I have to go? Uh, 
how to make money while parents are still at home. Okay. Mm, people are always comparing. Somebody said Mark Cuban got extremely lucky. I mean, look, everything's luck. Everything's luck. Watch Movement Company is set to be acquired for $100 million. It, It's more than $100 million, but that was the announced amount. They usually have an earn out and stuff like that. And that's old news, by the way. Um, what other questions do people have? Before? Oh, let me do Instagram here. I'm going to go. It's getting hot in here. What I recommend doing right out of high school, partner with somebody who has a one to $10 million business. By the way, this program, not only are you gonna get access to be a partner with me, but I'm also gonna train you how to walk into businesses and go, yo, let me partner with you. You're not online, let me partner with you. And not just for a flat, you can charge them a flat fee, like a thousand bucks a month, plus a profit share. I wanna show you how to do profit share, profit share, profit share, man. That's where you get the upside. That's what changes your life, man. Uh, what do I look at before I hire somebody? If they have the it factor. Some people have it, some people don't. But you can get it if you don't have it. Someone who's flexible, teachable, not too proud, you know? Ty, thanks for all the good advice. Do you have partners from non-English speaking countries? Absolutely. Like I said, let me show you these. I took these screenshots literally five minutes before I went live, so I wouldn't have to bring my laptop here, but here's people that I'm mailing checks to today. I don't know if you can, how, should I? Galvin Ashan, a hundred bucks. He made one, two, two, six, two, three, four, four hundred bucks. Jose Maria Barreto Huerta, a hundred bucks I gotta send a check for. Ali Altaneji, that doesn't sound like English speaking name. Dennis Weinstein, that's probably English, $68.95. Elizabeth Morosco, $49.25. Frank Piner, $49.25. Dante Kurd, $36.75. Those are all checks that I'm mailing out to people. And look, it's not a million bucks. But an extra 50 bucks a day is $1,500 a month. An extra 30 bucks a day is $1,000 a month. You start making 100 bucks a day, it's $3,000 a month. Little bits add up, you know? So, Ty, what do you do if you don't exactly have anything to partner up with a business like that? That's why I'm giving you the training on how to become a partner that people want to partner with, plus I'm letting you partner with me to start. You can practice on my companies. That's the whole point. You get to practice on my companies and then you make some money there and then you can go off and do it on a bigger and bigger and bigger scale. That's how you go from making an extra hundred bucks a month to a thousand to 10,000 to a hundred thousand. You boom, you start here, you figure it out, you scale it up. That's all it is. That's all making more money is just all scaling. It's it. That's it. It's scaling just means you take a small thing and make it bigger. Most people think, okay, to go from making $1,000 to making $10,000 a month is hard, Ty. No, you just replicate what you did on a slightly larger scale. I'll give you an example, okay? When I first started online, I was doing lead generation for financial planning, okay? So I spent like 100 bucks on Google Ads and I got 30 leads or something. They were pretty cheap back then. It was like $3 a lead. I called them, I made a sale, and I made like 500 bucks. So in my head, I was like, okay, 100 turned into 500. But that's not enough to live on, Ty. I need 5,000. So I just went, okay, I'll spend 1,000 bucks and that'll turn into 5,000. And it did. It took me nine months to figure out how to make six figures online in 2002. So I can tell you I'm qualified to tell you that it can be done. I didn't have any special advantage. I didn't even have a laptop to start. I had to use a computer that I borrowed from this job that I had. Um, yeah, I couldn't afford even internet. I didn't even have an internet. When I went home, I was, when I started out making money online, I was making money online, then going home and I couldn't make money online because I didn't have internet. Because I was in a mobile home. So, yeah. Ty, can you explain? 
Uh, yeah, if you're in this person, you got a question on cash flow, go on the live. If you have any questions once you're in the program, use the live chat. That's the best one. Okay. All right. I think I'm about to go. Almost an hour. How much time left on uh, YouTube or Instagram? Five minutes. Jonathan from Fitzgerald, Georgia. Welcome to Cash Flow. When you click the link, it's got all the information you need. Jump in. That's my advice. Jump in. All you procrastinators, all you people who overthink everything. You're just making it easier for other people to make money, by the way. When I meet people who are procrastinators, I'm just like, woo, thank God. You ever think that? Like, for those of you already making money, because I know some of you watching me, actually, put down, who, who here is making, put down how much money you're making per month, just so I know. I promise you there's people here making $50,000 a month, because I always get people following me like that. Don't you sometimes go, thank goodness, not everybody takes action because then it makes it easier for me. I think that all the time. And I don't, and I don't like that I think that because I feel like kind of selfish for thinking that. But it does pop in my head from time to time. People go, Ty, don't you get frustrated with people who you show them? Like, I get frustrated that more people didn't get in my social media marketing program. About 50,000 people got in. I started in 2016. And the results are insane every single day since 20, October 2016. I get a testimonial, a new one. I, I bet you it's never been one day. Let me look at, let, here's one. Jockey Burgi started one week ago. Now I have three new, I have my three new and first clients. I don't know what he means by that. Paying $1,600 a month. This shit is awesome. My business model is meeting, meeting, meeting. My goals have three meetings a day. It's an, oh, he's in Sweden. Jockey Burgi from my, we have a private Facebook group for the, that. So I'm just saying every time, like I get frustrated and go, why didn't more people go in? It worked in Sweden. It worked in the United States. It worked for 18 year olds. It worked for 60 year olds, 60 year olds. It worked for people who didn't have a ton of experience. What's up, you know? And now I'm just like, well, it made it easier for my other students. Cause if everybody had listened, there would have been too much competition, you know? Um, so I just sent you something, Adrian, or Rick. You can. Okay. Time making between, I'm 26 making between 90 to 110,000 per month and I just reached a million dollars in the bank. What should I do with the money? For those of you who start making money, here's my advice. Divide it in three buckets. I call it the three bucket investing plan. I used to be a registered investment advisor. I don't do it anymore, but bucket one, bucket two, bucket three. Bucket one is safety. So whatever you think is the safest, cash, gold, real estate, some people like it in, Bitcoin, crypto, if some people think crypto is the safest. Whatever is the safest. This bu bucket here is my lo your Las Vegas money. Have a little bit of fun. Try crazy stuff. Invest in something you probably shouldn't invest in. You know, you got a million bucks, this guy says, in his bank account. Take 5,000, 10,000, 30,000, whatever your risk tolerance is, and try something outlandish. Because once in a while, crazy ideas work. Okay? we got a minute left on Instagram. So... I'll keep, we'll reset Instagram, but all you Instagrammers, we got the link to get in the system here. I got it open for seven more days. We got the countdown going. Las Vegas, this is where you do your riskiest stuff, okay? You got to always do some risk. Even the best investors in the world, even hedge fund people, even pension funds put a small percentage in this bucket here because it, it raises your overall potential return. And then here is reinvest in what's already working. Whatever made you the million dollars, reinvest one bucket of money. So you could put, for example, 
50% here, 30% here, 20% there. Stuff like that works pretty well. Or you could change the ratios. If you're more aggressive, put more here. If you're less aggressive, drop that to 5%. If you really think what you're doing now is gonna work well, bump that to 60. But don't put all your eggs in one bucket. I guess I should call it the three basket plan. Um, yeah. Ty, what's your opinion on Bitcoin now? It kind of recovered unexpected. It wasn't unexpected. Volatile, <laughs> volatile things, gold, uh, you know, commodities, certain ones, they go up and down. It's the nature of the, the beast. So, nature of the beast. So for those of you who have risk tolerance, crypto can be a great way to diversify your money. That's what I do. I do not put all my money in crypto. Some people do. I have a friend who had 100 million in crypto and now it dropped to 10 million. So he's kind of depressed, but now it's gone back up. He probably has about 25 million. But I told him, he missed out. I told him he should diversify out and he didn't listen, but now he listens to me. It took an up and down cycle. <laughs> I'll tell you this, no matter what, don't put all your eggs in one basket. I don't care what anyone tells you. Somebody tells you autonomous cars is the future and Elon Musk is the future. No, every, everything fails. The, the lesson in history is anything can fail. So spread, that's why I like to, that's why this whole system, I'm gonna get you three sources of diverse income, physical products, digital, pro, digital products, and services. Ty, what do you wanna be remembered for when you die? Hey, this would be a cool one. Helping a million people legitimately change our life financially. I'll take that. I'll take that, a million people. I'm not even counting all the people in the past. I'm like starting from now. Cause I've had, I've already had like 200, 300,000 people in my paid programs. So I guess I should count those. So I got 700,000 to go. Um, are women necessary? Somebody wrote. Well, planet earth would cease to exist if women didn't keep reproducing. I mean, are women important? Is, are women necessary was the question. Well, it depends if you want the species to survive. Women are more important than men when it comes to uh, evolution. One man and a hundred women. You need more women than men. Put it that way. So that is my answer to that strange question. Man, I suck at cold calls. Yeah. If you're just doing cold calls to make money, that's tough. I'm going to teach you. For those of you just doing cold call, you got to set yourself up for success. You got to build a personal brand, authority, build a landing page, funnel people in, let the funnel do the work for you. Facebook Live ended, they said? No, it's still Oh. Can never tell people. Oh, I got to reset. How do I reset Insta? I think you got to reset it. Um, what are some last things, last questions people have? Uh, I should call one of these people that just got in the program. Let me see if this guy has his phone number on this. Let's freak this guy out, send him a text. I'll see if he wants to FaceTime. He has an iPhone, it turned blue. <laughs> Jonathan, if you're watching, I just texted you. You're in uh, Fitzgerald, Georgia. People are gonna think you're an actor, by the way. People are like, who's an actor? <laughs> I just recorded some new training that's going in for those of you already in cash flow system. Got new ones coming out all this week. Been recording, recording. We've been changing the back end for you to make it better. Oh, we also upped the commissions on one product. So some of you have an unexpected $500 each that I owe you. So I made it better for you. I probably have to pay out an extra 3,000 bucks today just because I upped the commission for people. Can an investment of $100 in stock be life-changing? Yes, but it's rare. 
better to invest 100 bucks than to building a system. Build money-making systems. That's what you want. Some, sometimes they're businesses and sometimes they're not. Build money-making systems is better than anything on, in this world. Ty, are you scared of death? My friend says he's not scared of death. He's just afraid of, scared of the process of dying. Like he don't want to die slow. But he says if he knows he dies instantly, he's not scared. Ty, I have a few fixes. I messaged your team. Is it smart to invest in Disney right now? <laughs> Warren Buffett says put all your eggs in one basket. That's not really what Warren Buffett has many sayings. But remember, Warren Buffett has 92 different sources of income. You can Google Berkshire Hathaway. He doesn't put all his eggs in one basket. It's semantics, and it's kind of a joke when he says that. Ty, how do you make a money-making system when you're an athlete? Go in this program. I'm going to teach you how to, the three T's. Teach, tailor, take control. Build a following. Anything you're interested in, there's a following in this world. I'll give you the products to monetize them. That's the important thing. So, Solar panels on a Tesla is the future. Who knows what's going to be the future? Hydrogen might be is better than solar if you can pull it off. Going to space might be the future or not. That whole project might fail. Anytime you live on, you know, when you go into space, one of the big problems is like your body falls apart. So even if you can figure out how to put people on Mars, their like bone structure basically disintegrates. I have an idea for an app that I think could really take off with no experience. Ideas are tough to make money from. You need products and it costs money to build products. I got products for you or find somebody who has products. Is it a good way to be a rapper and make money with music? Are you good? Or are you like one of those American Idol like prank tanks where people are the voice where like people are horrible? If you're good, you can make money in music, but most people aren't as good as they think they are. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. I think everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to get there real soon. Although a lot of people want to die, man. People want to commit suicide all the time. A lot of depressed people. Probably 30% of the world thinks about uh, suicide on a fairly constant basis. Daniel Yee, welcome to the group from Auburn, Washington. Welcome, my friend. <laughs> this person texted back. Um... Let me, let's FaceTime this guy, Jonathan Brown. Boom. Let's do it right here. Jonathan Brown. Okay, he might not answer. Oh, everybody can see your number. Sorry. You there? What's up, man? Hey, how you doing? I just thought I would, uh, I was like, somebody that I saw get in the cash flow program, I thought I'd call them up. You're live right here. You got many thousands of people seeing you. Okay, hey, how's it going, guys? Are you an actor that I paid to do this call? Uh, no, I actually did not actually believe that you were who you said you were. That's the problem. So <laughs> there's absolutely no way. So I was getting scammed just now. Yeah, well, everybody's cynical, man. You got to be less cynical. Got to be less cynical. All right, man. Well, I'm expecting big things out of you. Get in this program. Pay attention to the stuff. I got new training come out. Let's make some money online together. Absolutely. All right. All right. See ya. See ya. Boom. I don't always do that, but it's fun to do every once in a while. Somebody said, good stuff. Ty, I'm a stonemason. How do you monetize this trade? Stonemason, think big picture, construction, improving homes, landscaping. You can build a following off that and definitely monetize that. Schwarzenegger. Yeah, Schwarzenegger started building bricks, brick, brick walls, man. Um, okay, I think it's chopping my head off a little bit on the YouTube. Advice on marketing an online class. Ha. <laughs> You got to get good at marketing. Online is his own game. You want to learn that game, 
I'll teach it to you. You know? Most people are observers. This John Brown guy. Who's John Brown? I feel like, isn't there a movie, John Brown? What's John Brown from? What's the guy in Terminator? John Connor. John Connor. That would have been better if it was John Connor. <laughs> like, I'm calling John. Oh, Sarah and John Connor, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm calling John Connor from the future. We have to kill you, John. No, but what's the name of uh, that, that movie that did so bad? John Carter. Carter. Okay. Carter. Yeah, there we go. I'm late. What are we talking about? David, you just coming in now. I've been talking for an hour and 10 minutes. I got to get on here for get off here before I lose my voice. So, extended this 7 more days. Don't wait till the 7th day. Um the sooner you start. I just recorded an important lesson by the way. That's inside the system. It'll be released tomorrow for those of you in it. Watch this one. It's not what you're expecting, but it worked and it's changed my life financially more than anything I've ever done. One thing. So those of you getting the program, I'm teaching you. Remember, we're affiliate partners now. That means I'm going to give you every tool to succeed, even the stuff that I don't talk about on social media. Sometimes I don't talk about stuff on social media because I'm like, why well, can you know? I don't want to teach every secret I have, and I create com my own competitors. You know. So. Any last comments before we out? Sorry, where do you buy this big paper? Amazon. Amazon. Business God on YouTube said, what's up, Ty? It's good to see you doing your thing. What's up, Business God? I like that name. You, you, uh, you, got, big ass for, you got big shoes to fill, baby. <laughs> Be careful you call yourself Business God. You, you got to do crazy big things. Someone said John Carter equals John Wick. <laughs> Day trading, what are your thoughts? Stock market's a fickle thing. Many people have jumped off a bridge after thinking they figured out the stock market. So <clears throat> for me, learn stuff that works in the modern world that's cutting edge, man. The most cutting edge thing you can learn is online. Look at the richest people in the world. The richest, Jeff Bezos. Now number two, Louis Vuitton. But they inherited that business from their parents. That's a hundred year old business. I don't count that. You gonna That can be a plan for some of you. Start a brand and in a hundred years it'll work out for you. When you're <laughs> either dead or you, your grandkids can inherit it. Um, even Warren Buffett's going online. He bought 50 million shares in like Apple, you know, tech. He usually doesn't like tech. Even he's realizing he got to stay in the future. So Elon Musk in the future. The future is where it's at, man. Your past, I don't know where you guys came from. I don't know where you came from, how much hard stuff you give. The more you focus on the past, the more you just sink in place like quicksand. Try something new. You know, Ty, what'd you learn today that you didn't know yesterday? I was reading a book by Jack Welch, who was basically the most successful CEO in history. He took a company, GE, made it the biggest company in the world. Then he left and it's gone downhill since then. It, he was a game changer. And uh, you know what he said that I like? I am talking to Alex, my business partner today about this. He was saying, the book is called a winning, okay? It's like winning at life. But he said, you gotta have fun. And um, that's important because I see people online and they're talking about, you know, you got to make money, you got to grind, you got you to gotta work 12, 16 hours a day for 10 years. And I'm just going, ah, yeah, kind of. But, you know, if it feels like a grind, maybe it's not your thing. When Jeff Bezos was grinding to build Amazon, he loved what he did. It didn't feel like work. My mentor, Joel Salton, said, if you have to take a vacation from your job, you should never go back, meaning you should like what you do. You should do something that, yes, sometimes it's stressful, but as in general, you don't feel like you're working. A lot of my life, that's, I've had that as a criticism. Ty, I watch your social media. 
It doesn't seem like you're working. Well, that's what I call the integrated life. You want to have the integrated life where it's hard to separate life from vacation and just make your whole life something that you basically enjoy and that pays you. It's got to pay you. And so um, a lot of you, you have like, you go to your job and you don't like it and then you have fun after. And man, that's a rough way to live. Thank God it's Friday, TGIF. That means you just, you just live for the weekends. Newsflash, the weekends is the minority of your life. So why would you want to major in the minors, you know? Ty, loving what you do is more important than making money, but it has to pay or else you won't be able to do it sustainably. What you love has to be able to pay or you're not going to be able to do it very much. That's a sad truth. And it is easy. People love to say, oh, just, you know, love what you do. And I'm going, well, yeah, people go, do something even if it doesn't make you money. That sounds great. I totally agree. It sounds amazing. But does that work out practically? I'll give you an example. Let's say your real pride and joy is music, <coughs> okay? But you work at Starbucks or you work in a nine-to-five job. So people just go, you know, when you, like, do what you love even if it doesn't pay. Well, no, then you have to work at Starbucks. Then you have to have a cubicle job. So that doesn't work out. Therefore, you're not doing your art. So if I really like music, I'd figure out a way to make money in music. There's always a way. Online marketing for musicians. You could build an agency for that. You could build yourself as an authority. You could become a consultant. There's so many things. There's so many ways to monetize music. You could learn to help people sell tickets. Most musicians now make money with touring and merchandise. You could be, see if you're an expert online, you could do merch. So then you're in the music industry and it's paying you and you can do it more often. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm going to get off here. And uh, poor Adrian has a breakdown over there. What's up, man? You okay? Yeah. All right. Done an extension. Get in the program. Click the link. Already FaceTime with one person who got in. I wish I could do that with everybody, but uh, anyway. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>